All right, as you guys can see, this is unboxing. I'm gonna make it quick. Got other videos to edit and make. So this is the Prodigy Apex XL. Been waiting for this for quite some time. Let's go ahead and get into it. I've never, this is my first time getting a flagship bag in a box this small. Let me just show you. This box is 17 and a half inches long and only nine and a quarter inch wide. Pretty small box. Time has arrived. It, I searched up and down the internet for this for this bag. Finally found a deal. There you go. So it looks like in the box. Holy crap, this thing is like, you really know how to jam it in there. <clears throat> I've actually never seen one of these in person, so this is my first time. Oh wow, they folded it like this. That's insane. All right, so we got two pieces in here. All right, um, I think that's just a piece of paper saying thank you for purchasing blah, 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 but we don't need that. And that is the bag. Don't need that either. It's folded like this. And you unfold it. Okay, so this red is a bit darker than the pictures, but very interesting. All right, let me let me just let me just reiterate how this is packaged for shipping. Never seen that before. All right. So I guess this is gonna go. Where does this go? Oh, I believe. Okay, I see. One goes down here, and the other one goes up, up here, in here. So, all right. We got the two plastic pieces in. In here, on this side, there's going to be a Velcro pouch slip type type of thing. You hear it. Um, one of the white plastic pieces go in here to create this rigid front bottom part. The other white plastic piece goes in here. What this does is earlier the fabric was kind of squish. Once you put the plastic piece, it creates a bulb and you can kind of see from the profile here, a bulb. So it creates a bowl. Pound, grip, and squatch. All their bags are shipped with this already in inserted and sewn down, like sewn sealed. Prodigy did not do that. I mean, they save a lot on shipping doing it this way, but the consumer has to put it in here. So same thing down here. So keep that in mind. All right, let's go ahead and continue with the rest of the bag for unboxing. I can't believe that took so long for me to just put those in. So first impression so far, I know it says 500D Cordura online and a thousand decoder at the bottom here and it, it it does feel that way it's just got to be honest when you buy like um i scoured the internet and bought this from uh, when it was on sale and it the way it comes packaged is not aesthetically pleasing at all all right so that's the first impression there's a lot of stitching that's kind of sticking out on this already and uh, just to give you a point here we have the zipper right it's closed you can see it's closed but look what's happening in the back of it this zipper is open on the back the teeth these are closed we're in the closed position and I have a broken zipper already in the back so first impressions not so hot and I can I don't even know if this is gonna I don't know how I'm gonna claim warranty on this but there you have it. It's already broken in the back. I don't know if that's fixable. I don't know if it's gonna get worse if I keep using it. But I've never had a product where I receive it and it's already zippers already broken. Also, these zippers I don't see that they have the YKK logo on here. The zipper pulls are nice. 
they have this plastic piece here which is nice but I'm already concerned that it's not YKK which could explain why there's a gaping hole so I'm going to close this again but you're going to see the gaping hole where the zipper is yes it does bother me if you're going to charge somebody when it's not on sale a normal price of over $200 for a bag it should be a higher quality than this all right this red is not as bright it's a little dull in person compared to for example the squatch red you can see it next to each other here okay this is a beautiful vibrant squatch red the uh red on the lore this is not so vibrant it's not really red i think it's more a touch a shade darker like a maroon or bordeaux color but keep that in mind and then moving on from there the pouch this is accordion but it's really not accordion so this is quite funny all right i'm just going to do the unboxing and then i'm going to do a review of this bag later i and I'm, some of you guys really want me to do a review of this bag and i finally got one and so far i'm not impressed we got stitching right here see that uh, so the pouch putter pocket looks very similar reminiscent of other bags on the market the side pockets they're kind of narrow but it's functional these are waterproof zippers except gotta tell you a, uh, the white is already like getting discoloration from the plastic and I haven't even used it yet we got elasticated over here the liner feels really cheap got the red Bordeaux stitching there that's fine and then we got side here side pocket we got this that goes all the way down it's for the umbrella kind of a slice size sleeve we got accordion here that reminds me of certain bags that I own and then we got this pocket pretty nice size pocket on the side here that looks really good and the thousand D does feel thick I just don't know if this water z proof zipper is actually waterproof other side it's got the same setup I do like this little white accent there although it's not really high quality material but or at least it doesn't feel that way got the same setup my arm goes all the way down for the umbrella this side here this is the insulated pouch with the divider here pretty cool the divider let's see how this works with the Nalgene bottle all right that looks good looks good okay it's got an insulated built-in insulated insulation on this side I'm gonna have my little reservations on that for now but there you go the back of it god so rem reminiscent um, this strap right here it's nicely stitched but it just doesn't feel premium uh, we got Apex here we got a little tag here and then these straps oh my god these straps feel so hard they don't feel soft at all they're just like uh, it's like a cardboard firm piece on top and then sitting on top of the cushion doesn't feel that thick it's thicker than their other bags but not other bags not other manufacturers bags sternum strap this clip is really gnarly it feels really big that's really nice it even has the little um oh it's the quadruflex plastic so that's nice they got the barns door stitching but these straps are not removable yeah i'm interested to see how this fare on the on the field we got 3d mesh right here it feels soft and not as rigid god this bag looks like so identical to some of the bags i have um got the main compartment you saw earlier we got the mini marker holder all right let's fill it up and see how it looks the apex is loaded four putters in here for now i can't fit the, the fifth one in here i think i'm gonna have to loosen it up a little bit um first pet peeve there are no d-rings anywhere on this bag 
even on the shoulder strap. There's just no D-rings. So I have to hook my towel up to this zipper loop that already has got broken zipper teeth. Um, yeah, I don't know why they would not put D-rings on a disc golf bag. So this is how it's going to hang like this. But you normally I put my towels in like this. So luckily it's going to sit there. But oh my god, this is ridiculous. Um, I, I'm currently carrying 20 discs, 1920 discs on my lower. So I just transferred everything over. So the mini fits in here. It's a little sticking out, but it works. The putter pocket sits a little higher than the lower. So these come in and out like pretty easily. Like no problem so far. And then there's my water bottle on the side pouch. Yeah, so I'll see how this how this is gonna be on the course. So far I'm not impressed. <laughs> Gotta be honest, everything is a little rigid and don't think this was worth two hundred dollars. Gotta put that out there. Alright guys, here with Vedas. I'll see you guys in the next video. This was just a quick unboxing of the Apex XL. Talk to you later.